Nat Satana is a Thai visual artist focused on experimenting with photographic and moving image installation. Let's have a good talk with this young artist who has been working also with practice-based research. I'm Julie Vexel. Welcome to the Siak Talks Bangkok. Most of the time, it starts with the subject, and sometimes it starts with the medium itself. It's like it starts from my interest in some topic, and I start to kind of inquire into that particular topic by what like reading and also like producing work. <laughs> To me, like producing work is the the practice that I use to kind of like materialize my idea in the form of visual work. You know, in in that way, I think that is how I normally start my project. What uh, topics and themes interest you most and are present in your creations? Actually, most of the time, it's, actually it starts simply with like the, the problem of the photographic practice itself. And, and also like the, the connotation about time that related with photography and moving image. And also that thing could be like expanded and to understand like the polit politic of time that we also have here in like contemporary world. The term creator, it is the same thing when we talk about artists and, and their production, right? So in the process of making art, we, we always like contribute in the mode of production all the time. And that is not something that I consider for just myself as a part of it, but also as a, a whole system or, e or whole ecology, so to speak. So it's the thing that we need to like to be in the system. It's a part of the game, let's say in that way. Confabulation in the corner was conceived. I think that like time and space could not be perceived separately somehow. It's coincide, you know, like time. As like I always said that time and space is like relative in a way. So how would how will we perceive time depend on the space itself? And like the project confabulation at the corner, like tackle the sense of space itself which is actually, is it my attempt to, to understand the specificity of the, the site or, or the plate itself. So basically, the, the work kind of deal with the idea of place and how we perceive place and what actually is the sense of place and can we kind of like dismantle place and relocate it like simply I, I don't think so, in a way. And uh, being a site-specific sound project, huh? how was the curation done? I think like sound and, and space is something that it is the way to understand space itself because we can also like conceive place as something that resides in your body, your memory, in a way. And it's like... It was manifest in so many channels. Like it, it could you you could also like perceive place as something that is something to do with the taste, is something some something to do with your accent, is something to do with like how you speak 
and how you feel the place itself. So basically, when wherever you go, you also carry some place within yourself. And that's then like I try to kind of capture that particular idea by by using the size specific as a tool to kind of understand or at least um, try to enter that understanding basically. I think I need to mention that like the, the project is a part of residency program that happened like in Nalachiwa, the deep south of Thailand basically. I can say that I am an outsider in a way or a guest of the space. So I'm not quite familiar with the the area and like try to understand that particular conflict happened in the in the area itself. Sometimes require me to to understand it to uh, the local medium in a way. So I use like the the voice of the local people. Actually, she is my companion there. She is my friend basically, and also I I use of the almost like a object oriented ontology way that I also use the object of the space itself to to speak about the place. You know. And uh, it was a, a very immersive uh, experience for the audience, isn't it? The interaction between we, like as human being and style, is something that happened inside, not just like outside, basically. I think that like the, the project as the name of the project suggested, it's like oh, it's work with the idea of confabulation. So I start the project by capture the conversation I have with my friend, like the, the local people who live and actually like witness the all the conflict there in, in, in the deep south. And I kind of pick up the conversation we have and, and put it on the, the blank paper. And let like the the conversation itself kind of generate the set of text that like interact and con, con kind of create the dialogue within the conversation itself. So in in a way, you you can say that this particular approach is quite similar to how like post humanism think about object itself. That object could also interact with the object in a way. And the subtitle of your work, The Curtain Appears, is uh, Writing on Insomnia, Calendar Making, and uh, Artistic Resistance. How your social and political perspective is present in this creation? I think actually like the, the term curtain is something has the connotation with politics. And there is like a history, historical historical side about the term curtain itself because it's also used in Cold War, right? When 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 Churchill suggests that the, the curtain, the ion curtain appear in a way that is separate like the the West from the East, basically. And that idea I also adopt that terminology to to use it as a thinking tool for me to understand like the the political conflict that happened in, in Thailand back in 2021. When I select the term curtain, I think it's, it's start to, the, the idea about like the space between private space and public space start to form in my, in my thinking basically, because when you, when you place the curtain in between both space, you create the space, right? You separate it from private to public. But if you like open the curtain, that space kind of flow together in a way. So basically, I this particular project deal with that topic. And to think about like curtain as not just the the curtain itself, but also other infrastructure that separate like private space from public. And the the main question about that is that how as like a democratic country, 
what could be categorized as something like private and what is actually like is public issue, you know. And when when we deal with as a a group of people, I think that the the most important thing to to do is that we need to like sit down and actually really think about that particular thing because in in the light of me or liberalism, I think that like everything is become individual in a way, and we lack power without each other. We are nothing basically. We are just like a speck of. Within the system, and that could also answer something about like the the mental sickness that happen within the people. And I I heard a lot that people have depression, they have like insomnia. With me also like as a people as a subject to insomnia basically, and I think that the 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 cause of that mental sickness happen when when we are like. When we are separated. That Let's talk a little bit uh, about uh, curatorial relationship. Uh, what is the relevance of? the theme memory in this creation? I always say that this project started by accident. Yeah, I I found that I came across this photograph and I, I took it as I like to take the note because I, I found something quite fascinating with this typical visual language, you know, like the, 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 the image behind you basically. And as you can see that like there is a people within the image there is something going on and that I really want to kind of like understand that basically. And you can also like see the icon from like the, the left side, the left corner of it. That's something that quite artificial in a way. So basically like back, I think it start in 2018 or 19. I'm not like remember if like precisely but the thing is that there is the trend of back in the fashion of tri- traditional dress is still to the popular like soap opera that quite promote this typical visual culture. And people are like are really crazy about like wearing tri- tri- traditional dress basically. And what, what I found here in this photograph is that I can see like the body of Let's say that it's like a middle class people who wearing like the the costume that was first introduced by Tai Ely in the loyal court, basically. So that that idea, that en- entanglement in a way, that two kind of identity, like political identity, super import into one another, you know. It's like you you can see that this kind of body is almost like a fictional character. It's not real anymore in a way. The trajectory of the project was also like half a turn. Accidentally again, when when I found the image of my my aunt wearing the same shirt, and that is the the picture that I'm not quite understand basically because I know my aunt right basically I I know I know her and I know who she is, and that image looked quite weird for me. <laughs> it's almost like a, you you see different person like. Can I, I, I can quote like from Lo Long Bar book that is Lo, Lo Long Bar book that is like it's almost like a, you see the family being dressed differently in a way. And that is like the starting point I I work with my, my aunt and see like the, the flow between something happening in the public sphere and again like flow within the pi- private or almost like a personal area basically. 
ผู้ชายบุญธรรมสองคนลูกสาวมากลูกสาวบุญธรรมสามคนว่าหนึ่งสอง I think that like as the title of the project suggests that it deal with the curatorial relationship, right? So in in the project, I deal with the term curation as a way to create or actually even manipulate the the memory in a way. So even manipulate the relationship. So the relationship that was created by curation itself. Actually, as as you can see, what happened like in public sphere. Like the back in the fashion of Thai, Thai traditional dress is support something politically. You know, it's like subtly curate our memory in a way, and that is also happen with within family album, and and like specific specifically like the the discord of fam family album itself is everything like to do with relationship. And I I start to deal with that idea, or actually, like I start to probe into the material of family album to understand what is going on in the photograph in the first place. You are a Thai artist and an Asian immigrant. How does living in Europe literally impact your work at the moment? I think like situating myself outside my own comfort zone is like the key to my practice. And I, I think that when we live inside our comfort environment, so to speak, we we thought that we understand it. Too early, so like to be radical with that idea. I think we need to like zoom out a little bit, then situate our ourselves like outside that sphere of comfort to better understand the architecture of of what we are living in, basically. The idea of this project starts simply by the scientific experience we we all have with memory. Like the the idea of memory is something that when we remember something, right? Um, the material that we remember, like what break apart and keep it like differently in 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 different part of our brain, and like by remember it, like we remember like that piece of. Of memory, so every time we recollect something, we piece it together one again in a way. So I try to um, experience with that phenomenology or like with that phenomenon by let the audience be the subject to to experience that recollective process. I think that like digital process affect me a lot, basically as a people who work with moving images, and also like the the archive of and and also as a people who interest in 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 writing in a way. We now we have like something like ChatGPT, right? We have artificial intelligence that can generate the archive of footage or image material if you want to, basically, and that. That is something that that I also be critical with in a way, and not not by all mean to to negate that the techno technological advancement have no like have that they have no benefit at all. But in in a way that we need to somehow be critical with that idea. Not desire for the future as an artist. I think I think that like we we can agree that we are now living in the age of eternal present. So there is no future 
no pass in a way because if 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 you can like I I I might strongly put a bit, but like it in a way that now we live in the present that more extended and perpetual. You know, like we live, live we just live in the present, and by living in the present, is that there is no future to be head to to be like there is no direction toward future, and no we we have no past as well. Everything. Is a present in a way, and by everything is a present, is that you cannot, you you have to react only. You are like you become the object to react with what happened. And I think like the the way is that we need to kind of decelerate that process a bit, and because like if we live in the acceleration of present. We cannot basically do anything like politically or like making the political project that can change that or or actually that at least deal with the issue that we have here in contemporary world. A good metaphor for me is when you think about moving images itself. When when you look at the the cinema, right? Cinema is not actually is not moving images. It's just like. The the motion of still images that was composed and created the illusion of movement. Basically, there is no such movement in the image, but but the still images then move in the acceleration, and it moves so far that it created the illusion for the audience. And in the way when when you look at moving images, you you have nothing to do but to follow that motion. And you have to like be controlled by the narrative itself somehow. You cannot come up with your own interpretation during you watch the film. Basically, you have to like catch up with everything happen. And this happen more when when we talk about like more Hollywood cinema that there is so many cutting and you have to like catch every touch in a way. When you slow something down, you have more time to comprehend. And to to actually making the understand about what is going on in front of our eyes, basically, and that might be like the the way to comprehend the high speed world that we are living. <laughs>